friends. I'm so glad you're here today to join me. I'm going to show you how to make these um, conversation hard pillows just in time for Valentine's Day. And here's what you're going to need to make the pillows. And let's get going. The first thing you're going to want to do is cut out a uh, heart out of just paper. I used just brown craft paper and I did my elementary school way where I folded the paper in half and then uh, traced half of it so that I had a symmetrical heart pinned it onto my foam. I'm using a dense foam here, um, traced it. And then I wanted to find the exact center so that it could replicate it on the back. And this was to help me cut a straight heart with my electric knife when I meant straight so that the sides were straight so that I didn't, you know, go in and out. I don't know about you, but I have a hard time doing that with an electric knife. I tend to go at an angle and this was going to help me prevent me from doing that. So I just duplicated the pattern on both sides so that when I go with my electric knife, I have a guide on both sides. So if by just barely kind of flipping it back and forth a little and going slowly, I can see where my electric knife is cutting. And that just really prevented me from going at an angle or, you know, cutting into the heart when I didn't want to. Um, try not to make you seasick here, but at the same time, I'm trying to show you how I was just flipping the heart back and forth as I was cutting slowly to try to see where my knife was going in and coming out for lack of better words. I did just go back then and clean up some of the rough edges. Um, I am going to put batting on the edges as well as on the flat surface of the heart. Um, so I wasn't real concerned about making it super smooth, but you know, I wanted to just avoid any big clumps or you know, get it as, as, as straight as possible. With that done, I'm going to cut the heart shapes out of batting, and I'm going to cut the side shapes out of the same batting. This is a, a low lock, thin batting. So my sides were three inches, so I'm just cutting three inch strips out of the batting. making two hearts which is why I'm cutting double everything uh, then it was just a matter of cutting using the same pattern that I used for the foam and the batting cutting out of my material I am going to add a three-quarter inch um, seam allowance all the way around and I'm just doing that by hand with with my Also cutting the strips for the side and I'm, I'm giving them a, a three and three quarters inch seam allowance as well just sewing the the side a seam on the sides and I'm gonna iron that down uh, for, for the pink pillow I had it so that the ends of the side would meet in the middle of the heart and I'll, sh I'll show you what I'm talking about when we get there um, right in the middle with the two bumps meet, I guess. Um, on, for the second heart, I had the, the sides meet at the bottom of the point of the heart, and I think that was the easier way to do it after doing both ways. In pinning down and sewing, just make sure you're not getting any creases in either your front or the side seat. I mean, and it just took a, it was slow, but it wasn't hard. It was just really, you know, making sure that everything was flat going around all those curves. Just take your time on this part. Once I had you know, the front side on, or whatever side that was going to be, I, I fitted it around the heart just so I could get a sense of where my seam allowance was going to be for the other side. And then I'm just going to you know, kind of pin it 
live just in a couple of places and I'll, I'll take it off and finish the rest of it and, and I'm only going to sew with the machine half of this part on and then after I get the heart finished I'll hand stitch close the other half of the back or if it's the front I'm not sure once again just make sure you're you're not sewing in any creases on either side and Just use some spray adhesive to keep the batting onto the foam. Just a little bit. Um, I really should have been doing this outside. This stuff is kind of toxic, but I was just doing a couple little squirts and it was raining and I didn't want to go outside. So um, I used chalk and just a ruler to line up on my the front side where I wanted my letters. Um, and you'll see my letters, unfortunately, I didn't have my Cricut set to the right setting and it cut through the clear so normally it should be one big sheet of the all the words whereas I have each letter that I had to play so that's why I really wanted to make sure I had that lined up correctly which is why I had the, the chalk markings on it for the second pillow I cut my I set my uh, setting correctly and you can see how it's all one sheet the words um, once I fitted it back was getting ready to fit it back on I did just trim all the edges just to make sure that they would curve well and I pressed them down really well I ironed on my letter and now it's just a matter of sitting down in front of the TV and hand sewing the back on I did a second pillow um, the white one I added pom-pom to the edge and I did not put batting on the front and back of this one um, so just those are two, two alternatives Hope this was helpful to you. Um, it took me less than a day to do these two and just in time for Valentine's Day. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, I'd love to have you subscribe to the blog. You can do that in the top right hand corner. You could also subscribe to my YouTube list um, by hitting the button in the bottom right hand corner.